Hello my lovely people, I hope you're well. Welcome to Rimmel's channel. For those who don't know me, my name is Rowie Singh and I'm a beauty blogger based in Sydney, Australia. And today I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different, a little bit more educational. I'm gonna be showing you my foundation routine using one of Rimmel's most exciting products out there at the moment. It's their Match Perfection Foundation. This is honestly such a blessing because they literally have 25 shades in their range to choose from. There's just something so exciting about having like an overwhelming choice choice of foundation to choose from rather than the opposite. I've been meaning to get my hands on this foundation for like so long and you know I personally struggle trying to find a foundation that matches my skin um, mainly because I don't really know what I'm doing when I'm trying to foundation match like I'm not really sure what to look for but the foundation actually makes it really really easy because your perfect shade will just melt and blend into your skin quite seamlessly it practically does the job for you now if you want to see how I achieve this look and how to match your foundation shade to your skin color then just keep watching all right you guys so first things first what I'm gonna do is just prime my face so I can give myself a nice, smooth, even skin tone before I start applying my foundation. And I'll be using Rimmel's Fix and Perfect Makeup Primer. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna squeeze a little bit of that on the tips of my fingers, making sure that I've washed my hands and that my hands are nice and clean before I start massaging the primer into my skin. I'm just gonna rub that between my fingers and start applying that to my skin. So I'm even just gonna add the primer to my neck as well because I wanna be able to blend the foundation all the way down to my collarbone just to get a really really smooth and even complexion. Now what I love about this primer is it not only gives you like an even complexion but it also protects you from like environmental factors as well. It really just adds like a sheen over your skin so your face is 110% protected from things like pollution and other outside triggers as well. So my next major step is to go in with my foundation and because I'm very indecisive I've actually got a couple of shades that I can test and swatch on my skin just to really really see which shade melts and blends into my skin quite seamlessly. So I've got True Nude, Warm Honey and True Beige and it's crazy right because just from looking at these foundations like straight off the bat they all look like they could match my skin tone. It's only once you swatch these colours and actually have them next to each other you can really really see which one is the perfect match for your skin because the one that suits your skin the most will blend in and just complement your natural skin tone. That's exactly what we're going to do and I highly recommend you guys do this yourself when you're trying to find your right foundation shade. You can do this right then and there in the shop. You just need to make sure that you're under the right lighting and it's not too bright or too harsh and that you're not looking at your face like really really close. You just sort of take a step back and really analyze and see which is your best color. So like I said, we're gonna take all three foundation shades and I'm gonna swatch them next to each other and we're gonna see which one adapts to my skin the best. So we've got three very distinct swatches on my cheek here. We've got Warm Honey, which is at the top here. Then we've got True Nude, which is that middle color right there. And then the lightest shade here is actually True Beige. Now my face is quite unusual because I always use SPF in my moisturizer. So I never, never, ever let the sun get to my skin, which is why my face is so much paler than the rest of my body. And I just need to make sure that my foundation is matching not just my neck, but it's also blending in quite well with my face. And that's why I've sort of extended these swatches all the way down to my neck wiped off my buffing brush and I just want to start buffing the colors into my skin just so I can really see what it looks like when it's blended in to my natural skin color. Alright you guys, so the craziest thing is happening to me right now. Basically, the color that is most matched to my skin is actually blending with my natural skin tone. And this is because the foundation actually has smart tone technology, so it's actually blending and melting in with my skin so seamlessly. And I'll tell you which color that is. It's this lighter shade right here. 
which is blowing my mind because I didn't think I would be the very lightest shade. Um, I know it's winter and my skin has, you know, it's lightened dramatically, but you can see that this shade right here, which is true beige, is the only color that is actually melting into my natural skin color and has blended in. It's actually complementing my natural skin tone rather than adding and caking on. This color here, Warm Honey, when you see it on my skin, it's actually quite gray. And the middle color right here has quite a ready undertone to my skin, whereas my natural skin color has yellow undertones. And you can see that the color True Beige, which is this shade right here, has those yellow undertones, which is why it's blending into my skin so well. I think it's crazy, like I didn't even have to pick the foundation shade. The shade legitimately made itself known on my skin. Like All I have to do is just look at it and see which one has blended in with my skin tone perfectly. And that's True Beige. So what I'm gonna do now, you guys, is I'm gonna wipe off the Warm Honey shade and the True Nude shade. And I'm gonna start applying the True Beige shade to my whole face. You just want to make sure that you go down your neck and you're blending that in quite nicely from your jawline as well. The reason why I like to use the buffing brush to apply my foundation um, initially is because it really helps to work the foundation into the skin and it really helps to get that even skin tone as well. Down the neck, you want to make sure that you get your ears as well just so when I've got the final product they're not red. And I also want to make sure that under my eyes I get quite a nice airbrushed effect and so for that I'm going to just use my buffing brush as a stippling brush which means I'm just tapping the foundation very lightly into my skin and then I'll buff on my jawline. Don't be afraid to get your foundation like on your actual lips as well because of course we can cover that up with lipstick later. So now it's time for my favorite makeup magic trick. It's erasing dark circles with my Match Perfection Skin Tone Adapting Concealer in the shade Classic Ivory. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna squeeze a little bit of the product just so it pops up on the top of the brush and I'm just going to paste that under my eyes. Just like that. Maybe a little bit on my chin as well and just down my forehead in between my eyebrows and a little bit down my nose. Once we've applied the concealer in every place that we want to conceal, we can start going in and blending that through with a damp beauty blender. The key to getting a really nice blend with your Match Perfection Concealer is only putting a little bit on your inner corner rather than applying a full triangle under the eye because that actually gives the product room to blend through. If you apply too much product from the inner corner all the way to your outer corner, there won't be any room for the product to actually blend through and your makeup will just look very caked on. I'm just going to pinch the Beauty Blender just so I can get in the little corners as well. You guys know I love to use color, so I'm actually going to go in with the Magnify's Color Edition palette and I want to do something a little bit more sleek, a little bit more edgy just to match my look right now. So I'm going to go in with these beautiful deep purples and start adding that to the outer corner of my eye. Wow, that purple is so deep and so intense. I love it. Just to sort of spread that color, I'm using little upward flicks on the outer corner of my eye and then I'm just going to go in on my brow bone I'm just making sure I blend that in quite nicely so now I want to dip into this color right here it's a little bit more of like a lighter purple so I think that'll create a really really nice ombre effect from light purple to deep purple Alright, so this concealer is proving to have so many different uses. I'm actually going to go in with the concealer again and just use a little angled brush to just clean up my eyeshadow. This just really helps to give it that extra edge and make the eyeshadow look really neat, sharp and clean. So I'm going to level up the edginess on this look 
just a little bit further. I'm gonna go in with my Scandalized Brown Liner Pencil in Cobalt. Like it has the most beautiful shine to it. It legitimately looks like the night sky. So I'm gonna run that along my lower lash line. So before I even apply lashes, what I want to do is make my inner corner pop that little bit more. So I'm going to go in with the Magnifies Holographic Eyeshadow in Luna. So I've added lashes, my eyeshadow is done, now I just want to set my base. I just want to make sure that everything is in place and that my foundation and my concealer will last the whole day. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with my transparent Match Perfection Silky Loose Face Powder and I'm just going to apply that to my face and neck with a fluffy brush. After putting all that hard work into your face, you want to make sure that it just lasts all day. So setting the foundation with the Match Perfection Powder really, really helps to ensure that your foundation will last all day. Now once that foundation is set, you want to go in with a bit of bronzer to add dimension to your face. So I'm going to be using Good To Glow Maxi Bronzer in the shade Amber. You can't forget your glow, so I'm going to go in with my Kate Moss Highlighting Palette and add a bit of sheen to my cheeks. And we're finally wrapping up the tutorial, guys. I just want to apply my Stay Matte Lipstick in the shade Urban Affair. And just like that, my angels, I've completed this look. I'm obsessed with how sleek this look is and pretty much how perfectly it matches my natural skin tone. Like the pore blurring effect has really come to play in this foundation and you can really see how smooth and even my skin is just from applying a very light layer of foundation, a bit of concealer and a little bit of setting powder. Again, a huge shout out to Rimmel for making such an impressive range of foundation shades. 25 shades to be exact. I think it's just so empowering to have so many shades to choose from and again for it to be so easily accessible at your local chemist or price line. Yeah, I really hope that was educational and you learned a thing or two about matching foundation to your skin tone and how to find that perfect, perfect shade that matches your undertone. Thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to Rimmel's channel. Comment below what you thought of this look and if you'd try it yourself. My name's Rowie Singh and I'll hope to see you again soon you guys. Bye!